These days, St. Peter's Square is welcoming people from all around the world, following the death of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Some are simply tourists who wanted to spend Christmas in Rome and are wondering if they will be able to visit the Vatican museums. The reality is that we don't know what is going to happen in the city. This is the first time that a Pope Emeritus has died in recent years. So we have no idea if we're going to be able to continue to visit some places, particularly here in Vatican City. Others have traveled to Rome to be immersed in their family heritage. But now they are experiencing an unexpected historical moment. Earlier today on TV, we were at the hotel and we saw the news. Most media channels were airing it. We are going back home tomorrow. Well, today we wanted to visit the Basilica, but we heard the news and now we are going to see if in the afternoon we can listen to the Pope's message and then see if we can go inside. Others didn't really know who Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI was because they were very young when he was Pope. But they are curious what Pope Francis will say about his predecessor. I don't really feel much, but I guess the Romans must be very sad. And I'd like to go to one of the masses. I'm going to one today. I want to hear what Pope Francis is going to say about Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, because I'm interested to learn about it. There are people who came to Rome for religious reasons, but they are still in shock over the Pope Emeritus's death. For Victoria, it was very surprising to hear the news while she was in St. Peter's Basilica. Well, I came on a pilgrimage. We came as a big group from Mexico. We were entering the Vatican when we received a notification from our social media. And it was very shocking for everyone because we were just entering the Vatican. It was very special to know that just a few feet away, Pope Benedict had passed away. It was something very special for us because right at that moment, here where we are, and this happened, and he fought all his life to get to this moment. Victoria and her friends came to Rome to pray, and after Pope Francis's request at his last general audience, they prayed for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI before and after his death. We are taking advantage of the fact that we are here. We are praying and going to Mass every day and offering those Masses for the Pope Emeritus. I would like to go see the body to know more about him and maybe to go to one of his dedicated masses. But if we don't have enough time, then at the masses we have every day, we can pray for him and his soul. These are some of the first pilgrims to bid farewell to the Pope Emeritus, but more are expected to arrive in the coming days.